you. Obviously not his greatest performance. I know it's the preseason. Do you think Trey Lance is going to be better for them than Jimmy G? Absolutely. Absolutely do think he will. And part of the reason is because of his, his play caller, Kyle Shanahan. Uh, we've seen what Jimmy G's been able to do for San Francisco. But also we've seen what Kyle Shanahan's been able to do, even going all the way back to 2013 with RG3, RG3 when RG3 won Rookie of the Year, right? Like, you have a quarterback who... I get it. He's young. He's still learning the position. There's going to be things that he sees in regular season that he didn't see in this preseason, even though he got some reps last year in regular season action. But not only is his mobility is going to help him be a better player, but also like his, 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 his pocket presence. We've seen the deep ball in the preseason. We've seen what he does to outside linebackers on the edge, right? If you're doing a zone read, all of a sudden you might be rushing up field or being a little bit slow on the downhill action with the running back. And so for me, Trey Lance is going to have some bumps early on in his in his season, in his career, but, but the upside, the potential, the Kyle Shanahan mind and ability to be able to combine with this athleticism and precision and passing, for me, makes it make sense. You don't want to go with a quarterback or stick with a quarterback who has a ceiling, at least perception-wise. People say that Jimmy G has a ceiling. You want to have a guy who has this, what some people would call untapped potential. There's a lot of talk about he didn't have a lot of reps in college and he didn't play that much, hadn't thrown a lot of balls and all these kinds of things. We say that. Shanahan says potential, and he sees potential. And so I think that, I think that uh, Trey Lance is the right quarterback for this system. And I think he's going to actually surprise a lot of people when the season begins. Well, let me say this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, let's just, let's just say that. I mean, can, can, I mean, I know that, you know, we're on a bait show and we're supposed to sit up there and be definitive. Damn it, I don't know. Because here's the deal. Here's the deal. Trey Lance got skills. I know that. I know that it, he's a legitimate top three pick in, yeah. in the draft a couple of years ago. That's true. I get all that. But he's out of North Dakota State. So was Carson Wentz. How that working out for everybody? Five <laughs> years earlier, Carson Wentz was the number two overall pick. He played like an MVP candidate one year and then nosedived. And we got an APB out for the game he once had. Mm. Now, five years later, they draft Trey Lance with the number three overall pick. And you know what we re we're really saying? You know what we're really saying? Man, he's worth the risk because we yep. don't believe in Jimmy G. That's yep. what we're really saying. Yep. That's what we're really saying, okay? So where we get that from? Jimmy G is 33 and 14. Mm -hmm. He has, as a starter, he has completed 67% of his passes. You know, he has been a couple of NFC championship games and a Super Bowl appearance, okay? And some, for some reason, we still don't believe in porn star Jimmy. I understand. I understand. <laughs> man, I stop, personally man. got stop. my reservations about him. <laughs> I personally have my reservations about him myself. I remember what, what, uh, uh, what, what one of the Bennett brothers, Martellus Bennett, said about him when he was in New England where he was supposed to be hurt and everybody believed that he was soft because he should have been out there going at it with his brothers and he couldn't be relied upon. I remember how he shrunk beneath the pressure in the Super Bowl. I remember how he tried to give the damn playoff game away against Green Bay, and he's done that on a few occasions where where he just seems like an accident waiting to happen. I get all of that. But the point about Trey Lance is, we don't know what the hell he could do on this level. And, it's, it, you know, he's thrown about 71 passes. He's completed about 57% of his passes. You know, we're looking at him and we say, all right, well, let's see what you got. Because Shanahan and Lynch clearly didn't believe that Jimmy Garoppolo was the dude. So this is more about we don't believe in Jimmy rather than Wait till y'all see Trey Lance. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.